8th, and may the 4th be with you. Yes, today is Star Wars Day, and I say to you, Do or not do! There is no try. <laughs> yes, in uh, celebration of Star Wars Day, uh, we recognize Star Wars, and hey, uh, Disney Plus, if you have it or know someone who has it, uh, the next season of The Mandalorian is going to be reached, uh, released. So, uh, big day today, right? If you have Disney, anyhow, I don't know. A lot of people do. Anyhow, uh, as far as today's lesson goes, I have an outline of some of the more important points. What I'm going to ask you to do is read pages 163. And 164, it's on half reactions. We talked about assigning oxidation numbers and changes in charge and what redox reactions are. Lots of times we only look at either the oxidation or the reduction one at a time. So it can be oxidation or reduction. We call those half reactions. Oxidation and reduction do go on at the same time, but we look at them independently. And again, why? When we go on to the next topic, it's uh, electrochemical cells, voltaic cells. So we can determine the voltage that a potential chemical reaction would have, like in a battery, whether it's car battery, your alkaline batteries, etc., rechargeable batteries, nickel cadmium batteries, uh, lithium batteries, all of those things. We can look at the oxidation or reduction half reaction, get the voltage for each one, and then combine them to get the overall electrical potential. That's how they design batteries. Okay. So, we're going to talk about the half reactions first, and then look at uh, the electrochemical cells next. So, for today, and uh, probably tomorrow too, I'll be asking you to look at these things. Uh, there will be live Edmodo lessons, uh, not live Edmodo, sorry, live Zoom lessons, uh, Tuesday and Thursday. I... I I forgot the schedule. I'm, I'll, I'll post it on Zoom, but it's going to be, there's a period thing, like period one starts at nine o'clock. Uh, one of my classes is period four, five. The other class is five, six. So I'll be doing uh, your lessons on whichever lab day your, your lab day is. So if like, if you have a lab on day one, whichever the day one schedule is on the Zoom classrooms, I'll be doing 45 minutes. And then the other day you'll be off. So I'll do one Zoom class Tuesday, the other Zoom class Thursday. Wednesday is supposed to be a student day where you you know you catch up on your assignments. And uh, Friday I'll give you the next lesson. I'll probably start electrochemical cells. I've actually been thinking about giving you another fairly simple lab to do. Uh, requires a couple of Coca Cola bottles and a couple of cups and some water. Um, I'm going to work out details for that to see if I can give you the information on it and get you to do the lab without uh, too much difficulty. If worst case scenario, I can give you the data and then you can fill out the lab sheet. I'll, you'll, you'll get that in the next couple of days. But okay, let me show you what's going on with the uh, half reactions. Okay, first couple of the rules. These are the things on half reactions. Half re reactions are going to be balanced for both mass and charge. As a matter of fact, that balancing is for all redox reactions. They will balance for mass charge and, of course, energy, but we really don't talk about that because in chemical equations, all these things are conserved. Mass, charge, energy. Okay. When we balance the half reactions, we're going to put in electrons to balance for the charge. First, you balance for the mass in the same that we all, way we always did, kind of by inspection or one that I gave you those letters, SLR, stuff left, right. You take care of everything except the electrons through inspection. Then you find the side that has higher charge. That's the side that gets electrons. The number of electrons that we're going to put in the half reactions are going to be the same as the change in charge. Okay. Uh, if we're going to call the reaction oxidation, charge is going up. Charge goes up in the oxidation half. Charge goes down in the reduction half. I'm going to give you an example of one, and we're going to label it, put in electrons, balance it, and then determine whether it's oxidation or reduction half. 
Okay, I'm going to take O2, which is oxygen, and change it to O negative 2. Now the question is balance first, right? First take care of mass. O2 is 2 oxygens, so that means in terms of the number of oxides that I'm going to have to form, 2 of them need to form. Now, charge, okay? Electrons are going to go on the side that's higher. This side is 0. This side is technically negative 4 because there's 2 negative 2s. That means I have to have 4 electrons in it. 0 is higher than negative 2 or negative 4, however you want to think of it. It doesn't really matter. So I have to put in 4 electrons. So this is an oxidation. Uh, uh, pardon me, a reduction half reaction, sorry. Oxygen at zero goes down to negative two, so it's reduction. Four electrons are going to go on the left with the oxygen, so both sides are negative four. So this is a reduction, okay? And uh, oxygen is an oxidizing agent because oxygen is, is reducing, something else is going to have to oxidize. So these electrons that it is gaining, right, something else is losing them. Okay. All right. Uh, that's not it for today. I'd like you to read what I say. I'm going to go back and double check. 163 and 164 do questions 32 to 36 on 164, 165. Short for today, okay? Uh, have a great Star Wars day, right? And may the fourth be with you.